Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to uh, show you the uh, server health monitoring system that I've been working on. Uh, to follow along, you guys will need the 2019-1205 uh, version here. This has an updated RPG world server. So I have unzipped this here. I have set up the default game I and I. I have remapped the bat file and I have configured the RPG World Server EXE config. Okay, so you've probably seen this here for a while, this run health monitoring. It didn't do anything before. It does now. It starts disabled by default, so we have to turn it on. This is gonna run every 30 seconds. Um, I hard coded that. I don't want too many people hitting my API constantly, especially since there's like 2,500 people using it. So um, when you run it against your own API, you may end up adjusting that value a little lower than 30 seconds, but it's gonna work for what we wanna do here. Uh, so I'm gonna go run the bat file. You'll see here in a second, there we go. So it says running server health monitoring, server health monitoring complete. And then between those two lines, if it did anything, it will let us know. It checked and there wasn't any work that needed to be done. Okay, we're going to launch into the map. It's loading a server here. And as it says, it's running on 7778. And you saw me drag this box. Um, I've noticed that sometimes if I start dragging this box around, sometimes it actually crashes. So I'll try not to do that in the future and mess this up. Um, don't know why, but I've had that happen a lot recently. If I tried to interact with that box before it finishes bringing up the game. It just never, never finishes loading. So we're gonna go through the portal, spawn a second server. I got my hands off the mouse. Okay, now that we're in, now I can move it over. And this is server number two running on port 7779. Okay. And then we're going to run back through the portal, back to the first server. So what has happened now is that it now knows over here. Here's a list of the running zone instances. Okay, it now knows that this map two running on 779, it's empty. So it set a date that said, hey, everybody's out. And I've got it configured right now to after one minute of empty, it will shut them down. Later I'll add some settings where you can go in and customize how long before it shuts down. But right now it's one minute. So we'll play around here for a little bit. And after a minute, it is going to uh, shut the Shut the server down for us. If you guys haven't played around with these uh, abilities here, there's a lot of great, uh, a lot of great ability examples here. There you can see that map two has now been shut down. And you can see here it said shut down not responding server. So it actually should be saying empty server. I have to take a look at that message. That that message isn't right, but it, it shut down the empty server. Not responding is for ones where the server, you know, just hangs, which I don't have an easy way to I have an easy way to test that one. I guess I could write something into the server to make it uh, to make it hang. I always run through all these abilities anytime I make changes or something, just to make sure everything still works. Good, uh, good test case for me. There we go. Everything's working good. Okay, so I'm now going to log out from this server. And now this server has been set to empty. <clears throat> now, if we were to log back in before it was a minute, it would clear that empty date and it wouldn't shut down and it would start the whole cycle over again. Um, so it has to stay empty for a minute before it's gonna shut it down. And um, I got a few other things I'm going to add over time. I've got some code that fakes a game client login. Uh, so that we can actually like make sure that not only is the server not hung and it's not empty,
but it's also still accepting login. So basically just have the code kick off and say, hey, can I log in? It'll basically just log somebody in and a fake user log in and then just log them right back out. Um, so that's something that'll have come in the future. And so there it goes. It's been a minute, so now that one's cleaned up too. So one of the other things that this does, which is kind of nice, is that um, in the past, anytime the server's got out of sync, maybe you accidentally close the server with the X rather than using stop server. I had to tell people, hey, you got to run the reset script by doing start server, stop server, start server. Well, now you just kind of wait a minute and it'll clean itself up. So hopefully that'll cause uh, less trouble in that area. Um, okay, that's all. Until next time.